As I promised you earlier, we're here at Timberline Gardens, one of my favorite garden centers here in the metro area. And we're standing in front of this beautiful table full of perennials. And I'm joined today by one of Timberline's growers, Patrick. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Keith. And Patrick's going to help us through the rock garden plant situation. Now, obviously, these plants are beautiful, but they're big and they're showy, and they're really not what we want, Patrick. So, Patrick, you want to lead me to the uh, rock alpine plants? Yep, right around the corner, Keith. I'll follow you. Okay. Look at this. You've got quite a collection here at Timberline. I'm seeing row after row after row of benches here full of rock garden That's plants. That's right. Yeah, I'd say we have hundreds of rock alpine plants here. Is that right? We have quite a collection. Well, I see right away one of my favorites in all the world are these ice plants. Mm -hmm. You know, 20 years ago, we didn't have ice plants to put in, in our yards. That's right. Especially hardy ones. Right. And now, they're in just about any color you can imagine, and a lot of them bloom all summer long, They right? do. They keep going. Yeah, one of the longer blooming plants, for sure. Absolutely. What are some of your other favorites here? Well, I'll tell you this. I mean, I like so many of them. It's a little <laughs> hard for me to, but... Um, I really am a fan of this one here. And oh, this that's little a yarrow. little yarrow, and that's called Keller's Yarrow. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. This nice silver foliage, very fine textured, and it produces that lovely white flower. Does that bloom most of the summer? That keeps going. It's it got an initial flush, usually in June, and then uh -huh. if you deadhead it, it comes back reliably. Here I see it. one of my favorites is the Armeria. Or the, what do they call this, thrift? Yeah, that's thrift. Okay. I had a hard time walking past that one too, Keith. Yeah. That's a nice one, yeah. <laughs> and, and, the, uh, and the Bolax. Now, my kids at home love this one because it feels like plastic. They called it the <laughs> astroturf plant. And this really plays, along with the yarrow and the thrift, to what Paniotti was telling us about earlier, is choosing plants with year-round color. And this is evergreen. These others are evergreen so that even in the dead of winter, you'll have something to look at that's interesting in the rock garden. Absolutely, and a lot of these plants will actually change colors in the fall and maintain that beautiful foliage all winter long. That's really nice. So there are four season plants, many of them. Now I notice on here you're calling this plant the plastic that's plant, right. that's which is exactly <laughs> what it feels like. And I wanted to point out the labels on these plants. They always give you the, uh, the ultimate size of the plant. And so you're going to want to look for things that have a very short ultimate height and maybe not a too wide of a spread. And, you know, it's very easy to fall into the mistake that you pick out a plant in a little pot like this and you think it's going to stay like that. Many times they That's turn right. into these giants, which would be very inappropriate for what we're doing. There are a lot of plants that we, are, that we use every day in the garden, like the armarias, in our regular perennial gardens, and there are miniature versions of the same things. That's right, yeah. I was just looking at the, uh, the allium right here. This guy right here is a small rock garden type allium, as opposed to the big lollipops on mm -hmm. a stick that bloom in the perennial garden. Right. Do you have any others that you like? Well, I'll tell They're you similar? this. I really like the campanulas. And, you know, anytime I go hiking up in the mountains, I always look for campanulas. They're great plants. They're very, very hardy, probably to a lot of them to 30 below zero or colder. Mm -hmm. And just keep blooming and blooming. So. Well, thank you very much. I think that uh, pretty well gives everybody an idea of how to find them. Most garden centers are going to have their rock alpine plants together in a, in a fairly concise area. Thank That's you for right. your time, Patrick. It was okay. wonderful thank meeting you. you. Appreciate and, it. And uh, be sure to come out here to Timberline and check out this cool stuff. I know I'm going shopping right now. I told you we had a special surprise for you today with Chef Mick. Here's a hint, it comes from agave. Do you know what it is? Stay tuned, next, here on Dig In with Chef Mick. <laughs>